Welcome to Infinity, the tool that lets you organize anything and gives you the infinite capacity to do it. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at Infinity's essential features to help you get started. So let's dig in. First, we're going to create a board. So let's say we have a project called Ron's website. As we create a new board, we will get the option to choose from several templates to help us get started. But this time we're going to start from scratch. To kick things off, let's brainstorm the tasks we need to create Ron's website. Now that we have brainstormed our tasks, we're going to customize them with different attributes. We'll do this by adding custom fields. First, we're going to add a checkbox to our tasks to mark them complete once they are done. Then, we're going to add members who will be responsible for these tasks. Let's call them assignees. We're going to add a date to mark the start date for each task. Then, we need a label to determine the stages of the task process. For example, we can use to do, doing, and done. And we need one more label to help us mark high priority tasks. Let's call this field priority and label it as high and low. We're going to use long text to include a description for each task. Here in the sidebar, you can see all the custom fields we've created. Now that we've added custom fields, let's fill out our items with these attributes. Great. We have our items, and now we need to classify them into different folders. Folders are located in the left-hand rail of your board. So let's say our categories will be research, website dev, and content. And now we're going to drag and drop our tasks to their corresponding folders. Once we're done that, we can delete our brainstorm folder. Now we have all our items neatly packed and organized. To help us stay on top of this project, we'll create different views for all the items belonging to our board. We'll do this with overview. So for example, we'll have different tabs to preview task stages. We'll call it stages. Then we're going to have a tab we're going to call only my tasks. And to do this, we're going to use filters and choose the person whose tasks we want to see in this tab. We can also group them by different stages. Now we're going to add a tab to track tasks by member. Here we can monitor what everyone needs to do. And lastly, we're going to add a calendar so we can track our progress. We can always switch between these tabs just by clicking the tab we want to see. And we can easily move our items around by drag and drop. We're all set, we can start working on creating Ron's website. That sums up our introductory lesson. For more help and information about Infinity features, make sure to check out our help center at help.startinfinity.com.